Hi everyone, I'm Nikki and welcome to What's Your Take, a new series here on Design Like a Pro where I'm going to share my take on everything from graphic design to business and even technology and ask for your take on the topic at hand. This way we can all talk to each other and create great conversations and I'm generally curious to see what you guys have to say about a lot of these topics because you're all over the world and that's what's awesome. So I know that we're all going to have different takes on things and we may find some similar takes takes as well. But this is an opportunity to really expand the community here on Design Like a Pro and further the discussion beyond just me talking to you guys from all over the world. So the first topic that I'm going to have for What's Your Take is about backing up. Now the reason I'm bringing this up is because I had a horrible situation this week where everything crashed on my computer and so I had to reinstall the operating system and reload all of my programs and reload all of my files and then of course come across those that you just unfortunately will never get back. Now I am such a backup paranoid person because most of my life resides digitally. I have everything from my photography to my artwork to client files and folders to all the online courses that I have. So we're talking about a lot of data. And so I am always so worried about something happening just like this week where I lose it. So fortunately my files were backed up. That wasn't a problem. And also with the programs nowadays leaning towards being downloadable, that's also helpful. So if you happen to misplace that CD, you can fortunately re-download it. So I want to share with you my take on downloading. Because I'm so paranoid, I have like three different hard drives that backs up everything I have. And we're talking about over a terabyte of data here and the years it's taken to accumulate that much data. But when you're a designer and especially a designer that works with really large, high resolution photographs or HD video or animations or any of that, it's going to take up a lot of space. And so I have three hard drives that are basically duplicates of each other. Two are operating all the time, meaning that I have two locations where I work. I have my office and then I have my home. And so both of those are synced up so they match. That way wherever I am, I have access to the same files, which is fantastic. And also I have a Mac at my office and a PC at home. So those are, it's difficult to sync those up, but it's possible between the two drives. So that's the main thing. And then every month I back up everything to another drive. Now you may be wondering why I haven't mentioned the cloud and I do use the cloud but on a smaller scale meaning I have Dropbox and Google Drive but I've not invested in a backup service so to speak because I have such large files that it actually slows down my internet where I'm located and this will vary too depending on where you're at but where I'm located it does slow things down a bit and so it doesn't work for me to just take everything I have and put it up into the cloud. I also have security issues with that as well because of the specific files that I have. So this method works for me. However, I want to see what your take is. I want to know what you guys are doing for your backup situation so I might be able to see something else that I could be doing better with my, with my scenario and other people can learn as well. So share with me in the comments below what your take is on backups and whether or not your solution has been working for you or if you just have advice in general. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots more in the works here at Design Like a Pro, including more What's Your Take, as well as tutorials and tips and all of the greatest things about design and InDesign and Photoshop all coming up very soon. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.